every minute of every day. I want you to know what she's doing, when she's doing it, and with whom, and if. God forbid something should arise. I would expect both of you to take a bullet, no hesitation, rather than to allow my wife to suffer a scratch on her face. Is that understood? Absolutely. Understood? Yeah. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow at 6 a.m. to see if uh, you're freaking out by all this? Why would I? Sometimes bodyguards are just a fact of life. It has to be. I mean, I'm not forever, man. Not even for very long, but you... Really, this is an important transition for me. I'm consolidating a, a hell of a power base. I'm aware of that. Are you also aware that there, there are people who uh, want to stop me if they could, even if it meant using you? I know it's inconvenient, but you know, as soon as I'm in place, no one's even going to dare to come after the wife of Sonny Corinto. Can you hang with that? Till then and beyond. You're a good friend, Billy. Are you coming to bed? No, you go ahead. I got some work to do. beginning to wonder if I needed to send out the cavalry. <laughs> Piece of cake. You got him? Where is he? Uh, right now he's at the PCPD, and I can tell you he's not too thrilled about being flushed out of his herbal mud bath. Oh, he's in for a few surprises here, too. Well, good. I'm glad to hear that. All right, my man, I'm glad you're back, and uh, I look forward to depleting your uh, private stock of very fine cigars soon. You're on. I uh, gotta go now. Take it easy. We have business to discuss now, Sonny. Don't you have anything to say to me, Sonny? Or do I begin? Do I think it's smart that you came here straight from the cops? No, I don't. Cops couldn't hold me. Do I like the look in your eye? No. Do we have anything to talk about? No. 